All right, so scientists, some, are sounding the alarm on a so-called solar superstorm that could, and this is important, underline the word could, eventually wipe out the Internet for weeks or even months. Indian astronomers have just warned that the coming solar storm could be so powerful that the Internet across the world could face problems for weeks. We may have to be a little serious about upcoming solar flares. Unfortunately, this isn't the plot of an underappreciated B-tier Netflix thriller, but an actual possibility according to scientists who have been studying the sun's solar activity. Researchers have discovered a new relationship between the sun's magnetic field and its sunspot cycle that can help predict when the peak in solar activity will occur. NASA previously predicted that the next solar maximum would begin in late 2025, Unfortunately, a new study reveals that this solar maximum is coming sooner than expected, most likely in early 2024. A new study led by Dr. Dibindu Nandi, a physicist from the Isore Kolkata Center of Excellence in Space Sciences in India, has predicted an early 2024 solar event. Dr. Dibindu Nandi said that, it is not possible to predict the intensity and consequences of solar storms this early, but we should learn more as the new year approaches. By the way, he also said that, of course they also make beautiful auroras, so we can hope that 2024 will be a good year for aurora hunters. But some other, scientists are saying that this rapid increase in sunspots could be a serious warning sign of another Carrington event. Well. Let's delve deeper into this topic and find out why Indian astronomers have raised concerns about the upcoming solar event. The sun is a huge ball of electrically charged hot gas that moves, generating a powerful magnetic field. This magnetic field goes through a cycle called the solar cycle. Every 11 years or so, the sun's magnetic field completely flips meaning the sun's north and south poles switch places. This solar cycle affects activity on the surface of the sun, such as sunspots which are caused by the sun's magnetic fields. One way to track the solar cycle is by counting the number of sunspots. The beginning of a solar cycle is a solar minimum, or when the sun has the least sunspots. Over time, solar activity and the number of sunspots increases. The middle of the solar cycle is the solar maximum, or when the sun has the most sunspots. As the cycle ends, it fades back to the solar minimum, and then a new cycle begins. Here you can see the increase in the number of sunspots during the solar maximum phases of 2001 compared to the weak phases of 1996 or 2006. Almost a century ago, Swiss astronomer Max Waldmeyer left a trail of cosmic clues that scientists still follow today to predict when the sun will reach its solar maximum. Back in 1935, Waldmeyer noticed something fascinating about sunspot cycles. He observed that the faster the rise of a sunspot cycle, the stronger its strength. He realized that a stronger cycle took less time to reach its maximum strength. This discovery, now known as the Waldmeyer effect, is like a crystal ball for scientists, helping them estimate the strength of a sunspot cycle by observing its early stages of development. And using this method, NASA scientists predicted that the next solar maximum will occur in the year 2025. However, Indian astronomers reveals that this solar maximum is coming sooner than expected, most likely in early 2024. What the Indian researchers have done is find a new relationship. Using decades-old data archives from multiple ground-based solar observatories around the world, Dr. Nandi found that the rate of decrease in the sun's dipole magnetic field is also correlated with the rate of rise of the ongoing sunspot cycle. During solar cycle minimum, when almost no sunspots are observed on the sun, the dipole field strength is maximum. When the sunspot cycle starts rising, the large-scale solar dipole field starts weakening and assumes more complex configuration. The dipole field vanishes during sunspot cycle peak, 
and following this, it flips its direction and starts growing slowly again. Using this method, Indian astronomers found that the next solar maximum is likely to occur not in 2025 but in early 2024, with flames so strong that they can disrupt the world's internet for weeks. Furthermore, researchers previously predicted that the upcoming solar maximum could pose a major problem for Earth's communication systems. The most intense solar storms can sometimes result in catastrophic orbital decay of low Earth orbiting satellites and disrupt satellite-based services such as communications and navigational networks. Well, let's find out the potential strength of the next solar maximum and explore whether it might lead to an event similar to the historic Carrington incident. In August of 1859, Something incredible happened in the skies that captivated astronomers worldwide. Richard Carrington, a passionate sky watcher in a small town near London, witnessed a spectacle on the sun. Carrington, while sketching sunspots on September 1st, was momentarily blinded by an intense flash. It was so bright that he initially thought something had damaged his observation equipment. Upon rushing outside, Carrington found the bright spots had vanished. Unbeknownst to him, what he just witnessed was a massive eruption on the sun's surface, known as a coronal mass ejection. Normally, it takes days for a corona mass ejection to reach Earth, but this one took a mere 17 and a half hours to traverse the vast expanse between the sun and our planet. Although, Earth's magnetic field always protects us from these solar storms, but a violent solar storm can cause Earth's magnetic shield to fail, and the 1859 solar storm impact was astonishing. A geomagnetic storm ensued, painting mesmerizing auroras across the skies. Yet, the beauty in the sky concealed a disruptive force. Electrical systems across Europe and North America faltered. This event, famously termed the Carrington Event, unleashed energy equivalent to 10 billion megatons of TNT from the sun. Scientists warned that if such an event were to happen today, it could lead to an internet apocalypse. Extreme voltages could wreak havoc on our electrical grids, potentially damaging undersea cables that power a significant chunk of the world's internet. Recently, discussions online have sparked concerns about the potential reoccurrence of such an event, especially as we approach a peak period of solar activity in 2024. The fear looms that something akin to the Carrington event might unfold in the upcoming new year, stirring worries about its impact on our highly connected world. The Royal Observatory in Belgium reported that the number of sunspots has reached the highest level in the past 21 years, with an average of 163 sunspots per day during the month of June. Thus, the data indicates that the current solar cycle has shown more activity than predicted by NASA, with the official forecast being around 115 sunspots at the peak. Scientists are still not sure why the solar activity is higher than expected. Therefore, further study of these events is necessary to understand the internal processes of the sun. Although solar cycle number 25 is not the strongest in history, scientists expect it to become one of the most powerful solar cycles. We've never experienced one of the extreme case events, and we don't know how our infrastructure would respond to it. Well, I suppose there wouldn't be a better time to appreciate the nighttime sky than when the internet is done. If you guys have watched this video completely, then don't forget to comment your thoughts on it. Thanks for your time.